Hello everyone. Um, I'm glad you could join me today. Uh, we're going to go through our next test case, which is the search functionality. Okay, so the search is very important. You know, we have to make sure that it's returning results, the button is working, uh, clients are able to use the scroll bar and, you know, look for related items. Right. So it's very convenient for clients, for customers, because they want to probably search um, what they want quick and add it to the shopping cart and check out. So it's very, very important uh, that it's working uh, properly. So I'm just going to um, show you how to test uh, the search. I'm just going to call my my web driver to find elements by. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly inspect my field. Alright. I'm just going to inspect that. I'm looking for my input. Search input. Okay, here we go. So I'm just going to copy this. Oh, I got it. Okay, so search by, I'm going to search by the class name. Okay. Alright, there we go. And I want to send keys. This is what I want to search. Mm, appliances. All right, and then I'm going to tell my browser to search to find this element. Let me inspect the button. Okay, so I'm gonna copy this. So when it has all, when the naming is like this with all the spaces, you can actually use the entire clause, like clause equals to button, just making sure you put it in the correct bracket. So I'll just show you how to initialize this. So we're going to use xpath because we're taking the class as well, right? Okay, so here I'm just going to use this path and I'm gonna say add class equals to and I'm gonna paste the button name okay and I'm gonna say dot click because I want to click on it all right so what I also want to achieve is that you know after I get my results I would like to use the scroll bar as well right so I'm going to define the y Access only. Okay, so I'm gonna use the the for loop. Um, this is just so it executes uh, slow, so the scrolling is slow. Okay, so I'm going to define the seconds here, so we can. The thing is, with automation, everything happens so quick. Like we don't need the the thread that sleep function, we 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 will need like loops, but when it comes to uh, the speed of, of what shows when how, you know it depends on the web page because we actually want um, our program to stop when it gets an error, right? So if it runs through, uh, we don't really care about the speed at which it runs. Okay. So I'm just going to initialize my seconds here. Second increment is there. Okay, I'm going to use the if statement. And I'm going to say if second load. If second equals to, let me see. If it's greater equals to 16. So this is the number of times uh, that it should execute right then after this number of times I want it to break. Alright, so this is what I want you to execute this JavaScript. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use the Java uh, script executor. Alright and I'm going to cast it to my web browser. Okay. 
and I'm gonna use dot JavaScript. Okay, let me just uh, edit. Right. JavaScript, yeah, I think it's edit, right? Okay, it's here. You see, so I've imported the library so that uh, we can be able to call it. So, dot, I wanted to execute the script. This is what I'm looking for. Okay, so I have my arguments here. Um, okay, let me start by saying, um, I want window that scroll by, um, let me see, Scroll by this is my x axis. I'm not using that, but I'm using the, the y axis, okay, because it's scrolling horizontally. And um, I don't have any other arguments that I can put here, so I'll leave it like this. Uh, so, okay, and I also wanted to, once it has returned uh, the results, I wanted to scroll back up, right? So I need to speak to my scroll bar there. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this code and I'm going to, let's see, JavaScript. Mm, Window.scroll2, okay, to the top, right? And I'm not going to use handout here. I'm just gonna tell it what to do. Say document the body mm, scroll top right. Mm, let's see. Go to the top. I even need this argument. Mm, it looks fine. Then I'm just gonna add my thread dot sleep. Alright, okay, so here I'm gonna need an exception. Mm. Alright, surround with with try catch. Okay. Alright, I think we're good. The only thing uh, that I need now is to execute my class. Alright, so I'm just gonna add name. And I'm gonna say search items. Wait, I'm gonna say the BAM. I'm gonna call my class. Let me just create an object here equals to new, right? And I wanted to, okay, let me just say my object dot search. Okay, I'm mean, going to do this. Okay, that's search items. Okay, so we are okay. Let me just open here so I see my console. Okay, so we can run the application and uh, see what it does. Okay, still running. It's going to open the browser. And the first thing it should do is to type in appliances. Click on the 
search button, display all the results under appliances, scroll down, scroll back up, and there. Yeah. So let's see if it can do that. Um, what else? So I got a lot of people saying that they're gonna write ICQB exams and they need tips on, on what to study on. Uh, I might cover ICQB, the 2018 syllabus. Um, but honestly, like if you go through the syllabus and you know they are um, uh, studying objectives, right? The K1, K2, K3, and they tell you here you have to understand, here you have to apply. And it's it's not really much, you know, if you understand everything and you understand chapter four, which is your BVA and all the testing techniques, you're good to go. That is not much really. You just need to put a lot of effort into studying, but I'll try to cover all the techniques um, that you can use for creating um, test cases that really work and find errors. Okay, so we typed in apply appliances, it clicked on the search, and now it needs to show me everything under appliance. Okay, so I just want to see if it's gonna control the scrolling. I just don't want it to scroll to the bottom all at once, but I want it to show the results. Okay, I hope it doesn't show me box or stationary. I want appliances. <laughs> okay, let's see what it does. Um, Blender seed, electronic microwave. Okay, scroll bar. Okay, scrolling down, slow cooker, slice toaster. Okay, kitchen oven, blender. Great, showing the pictures, it's showing it to God, it's showing everything. It's loading the images. Okay, then I want you to go back up. Great, to the top. So guys, this is how you use the uh, the web driver Selenium Java slash the slash to actually you know control your your scroll bar and you know test. So the, the test um the search functionality can be broken into a lot because you know you can search by department, you can uh, search by brand, you can search by promotion by whatever. So it's, uh, you also have to test our uh, pagination. Now, if I click on two, three, four, does it actually take me to, to, to other results? So yeah, this is how I'm gonna end it. Okay, so on our next tutorial, we're going to add one item, two, three, four, whatever number to the shopping cart. Okay, just that process of adding to the shopping cart and yeah, we will. We obviously gonna test the entire website and see if it's really working. So uh, subscribe, please subscribe to my channel. Please like my videos. Uh, cheerio. Stay safe.